What's up guys, Kuri here and today with another video and today we're going to play Solid Online Memory Defrag again and yep, it's that time of the year again where it's going to be an actual fiesta because we get news regarding the next guild ranking event. If you don't know what guild ranking event is, uh, as you can see I'm right now in my guild. Um, I'm still waiting for them to actually implement the shop. Um, it's saying coming soon since, I don't know, maybe half a year, probably. And I'm yep, still waiting to buy myself a bench to sit on or something. But yeah, anyways, guild events. Um, you and your guild of 10 members fight against each other guild in your um, region. So um, I'm in the European server, so everyone who is also here, I'm glad that we can fight it out with each other. And yeah, anyways, uh, let's jump right into the news. And I'm talking about the Fiesta because... Um, yeah, we actually have two guilds, or I have two guilds, and uh, it's kind of hard to gather everyone because, yeah, everyone's playing some lowly games nowadays, I don't know. And yeah, anyways, um, the guilds competition event, Gunners in the Battlefield. As you can see, we also get the chance of building a new 5 star armor. I'm going to talk about this in a bit. And yeah, you can collect these memory fragments and exchange them for materials, especially for armors, which I personally think is a good thing to do. And um, yeah, it's called Assault Diver, max HP 4002, max attack 410 and max defense 674. So the, so the battle skill is HP and MP plus 3%, that's like all other armors. Um, I think they all have the same battle skill and it only gives like 2% if equipped by non-elemental. So to be honest, um, it's probably not the best armor ever. Uh, I mean, the male armor was a little bit more versatile because you could have equipped it for all male characters, but with this non-elemental... I mean, it could be good. Um, not Just not so sure just yet, because we don't have that many non-elemental rankings right now. So for the non-element um, ranking, it will be definitely the best armor to get, probably. Unless you have like the matching armor for your character. But yeah, otherwise 2%, still less than 3%, so that's just my opinion for now. Probably going to change it in a bit, but yeah, let's just see. And you can get the Viant special title Gunners and the Battlefield number 1 guild. Special skill is crit, up, crit damage up in the next guild event. Um, don't know when that's going to be, probably in a while. And yeah, there's like a reward system for ranking, multi-score, individual score and missions. So for the first two, um, you will get your rewards after the event ends and um, the individual score and the missions will be when you achieve the actual yeah, mission or the score and you can just get your materials and things that you want from there. Yeah, um, The event starts tomorrow at 6am UTC and it's actually already the 4th guild ranking competition. So that's actually pretty interesting. Yeah, it should be the 4th. And yeah, compete for high scores with guild members. So if you don't know, um, it's actually a lot like the ranking we have right now, just that you're playing with your guild members and try to do as much damage as you can. And um, if you get like the half of the boss to zero, he will get the debuff and will get down. That's when you can do more damage. And yeah, after this, you will get full up again and you want to repeat the process every time. And um, it's like um, three different kind of scores. There's like the individual high score, the multi high score and the guild score. So the individual high score is the highest score that you personally have. You can also do it in multi and boost your score that way. Then there's the multi high score, which is um, the high score of all the three players um, who gets the highest high score, I guess. And then the guild score, which combines every score of every player plus the multi high score and the individual high scores. And yeah, guilds who win the high rank and the guild score ranking get a special title. By equipping it, you will get some special effect that gives you an upper hand and the next guild event. And yeah, that's just how it is. And yeah, that's the armor that we're going to get. It looks like Peter Hui's armor, if I'm correct. I still don't know how to pronounce the name. I'm sorry for that. And already talked about this a little bit. And yeah, clear master plus one, there's uh, specific times, and depending on the day, damage delivered by sword, dual blades, shield blades, rapier, dagger is increased, and the gunners, uh, gunners in the battlefield, master plus one, sword crit. So um, it's from this Monday to Sunday actually that it's the master crit, and then the week after it's the range crit, and then the weekend um, is both, I guess, yeah, it's both, sword and ranged. 
So you definitely want to choose whichever one you have the best characters for and then do it. Or probably just do it on the last two days. Anyways, because no one else has like time in the week, I guess. I don't know. That's just my personal opinion. And also these missions, you definitely want to get these missions and help each other out to get these missions because you can get um, armor pieces. And I think you can make one rarity 4 if I'm correct. Yeah, you can make one rarity 4 out of it. So you only need 40 more memory fragments to make this armor if you really want it. And that's kind of nice. And yeah, on this guild quest, if you deliver enough damage, there will be a break and you can get a chance time. During this time, you can deliver huge damage to the boss, as I already mentioned. Watch attack patterns and parry attacks to finish him off before the time ends. So that's where the interesting part jumps in. So what we know right now is that there will be three opponents, one boss and two enemies will appear, which makes this a lot more annoying as than it should be, but probably also a lot more fun. Take care of them one by one. In your guild, have roles like draw the boss attention, attack the enemies from distance, assist other members. Okay, probably no one will ever use this. Um, I don't know. Probably going to tackle every boss with everyone. That's probably how it's going to end up anyway. But yeah. Um, so one boss, two enemies, um, three, three enemies of all, I guess. That's what it means. And when a boss is alone, launch a full scale attack to win a high score. So I guess you can kill like the small minions and then you can attack the big boss or you can attack all three at once and you can kill the small ones. I guess the boss will spawn the small ones again after a while. Maybe he will do it, maybe he won't. And I think the time limit for guild rankings was usually one minute and 30 seconds. And yeah, it's a total fiesta to be honest. And yeah, if you already have titles from the last guild ranking, which was called Dragon's Den Guild Ranking Event, I think, um, you will have special effects. So if you have one of the first top 10 titles, then you will have required MP and your party is reduced in Gunners in the Battlefield. And um, from number 11 to 100, I think, um, gets the title required MP, your party is reduced slightly in the Gunners in the Battlefield. So yeah, you definitely want to equip one of those titles because it makes or it gives you quite the advantage in the ranking event. So yeah, what's guild competition? Deliver great damage within the given time. Try to make your guild the most powerful one. Yeah, so I already mentioned you want to do like at the individual score, you want to boost that and on uh, in the end you want to boost your, um, what's it called, guild high score? Let me check it for a second. Um, the multi high score, yeah. And this will automatically update your guild high score. Sometimes it's a little bit buggy and you need to um, do the multi high score again to update the guild high score. Sometimes it just works instantly, but yeah, guild ranking was pretty buggy most of the times. So. And there are three types of rewards. Earn a high multi score individual score to get five star armors. And I think you can, yeah, you can get diamonds, rainbow essences, and memory fragments. So the most interesting part here is memory fragments. You don't um, actually want to instantly use up all your memory fragments. You want to save them up to get, uh, in my opinion, the armor pieces are the best things to get because they will help you in the long run. So you definitely want to wait and see which kind of armor you want to actually get. Um, personally, I think getting a female armor is probably the best move to do right now. And you should probably see which female character you have the most of because I don't think that... Um, there are that many male characters out there, unless you really want to get your armor for Aegil or Klein, which I can totally respect. I also got my male armor just for Aegil and Klein, so yeah, definitely waste them there. And yeah, um, rainbow senses are always nice to have, diamonds, good for scouting, and also exchange swords. So yeah, you can get, okay, collect all the exchange swords available and upgrade to a forcer. So this means you actually get a free exchange sword, which you can trade in. That's nice. And during the guild competition and three days after the guild event, you are unable to leave your guild. So that's important. So if you want to change rosters and yeah, you should do it now before the guild ranking event starts. And don't cheat because if you cheat, then everyone in your guild will get punished for this. And that's not a nice thing to have. Yeah, other events will maybe change and stuff like this. So I guess that's all for the news we have today. And I think the rate up for... I guess um, Premiere, uh, no, 7 and Rain is coming tomorrow, so that's another 125 memory damage scout. I hope that's going to come, but maybe it's going to come like on Tuesday. But I personally think it's going to be tomorrow, but yeah. So that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, then please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, as this helps me out a lot. And hopefully I will see you in the guild ranking, and if not, then I will see you in the next video. Peace.